Okay, in this video we are going to work out the spherical coordinates for a horizontal plane. So um, it's a little easy but also a little surprising. So let's see uh, what we need to know. This is a, a general list of all the spherical stuff. So we know that x is rho cosine theta sine phi, y is rho sine theta sine phi, um, z is rho cosine of phi, and that's gonna be the most important one because horizontal planes have equation z equals something. Um, we don't really need any of the other stuff for this particular video, but you know, you square all the x, y, and z's and add them up and you're gonna get rho squared. X squared plus y squared has this relationship where it's the same as rho squared sine squared of phi. We can find theta, we could find phi. Um, all right, let's, let's take a look at an example. So we want to convert z equals 4 to spherical coordinates, and then we want to write parametric equations for the surface, which turns out to be kind of challenging. So let's see what we can do. Um, first, I'm going to start with the fact that z is rho cosine of phi, right? That's how spherical works. So we start with that. And then uh, I'm told in the problem that z is equal to 4, so I must know that rho cosine of phi is equal to 4. And then I'm like sort of done. So I could end there if all I wanted to do is write uh, convert it to spherical and I'd be done. But I wanna write parametric equations, so I'm gonna solve this thing for rho and get rho is four over cosine of phi, or we could make it four secant of phi if we wanted to, but I don't want to. Um, so now let's get our parametric equations. So parametric equations, you always go back to the definitions of x, y, and z. So x, for example, is rho, so I'm gonna fill in rho, and then it's um, cosine theta sine phi. So cosine theta sine phi. If you look at that, you see a sine phi over a cosine of phi, so we can turn that into tangent, but first let's write down y. y is almost the same, so it's rho, and then it's sine theta sine phi. So we have this, and then z, uh, I could say is rho cosine of phi, but I mean, it's given in the problem that z is actually equal to four. So it's just gonna end up this. So if we'd written it the other way, we'd just simplify it down and it would end up here anyway. Okay, so we're like basically done. Um, this I can rewrite for cosine theta and then sine over cosine is tangent of phi. And then y is four cosine, uh, sorry, sine of theta and then tangent of phi. And then z is still just four. Okay, so now what we need to do, think about how this is gonna work. So the way that I look at it, uh, theta is the angle in, in the xy plane basically, and I want to wrap the entire plane there. So theta is definitely from zero to two pi. And now let's think about what phi can do. So we don't wanna like duplicate anything here. So uh, the way I look at these equations, the four cosine and four sine that's like just a circle, basically in the plane z equals four, it's a circle of radius four. Um, so that's kind of like done. That kind of tells you like which way you're facing for a given value of theta. Um, and then tangent, what I think of that doing is scaling you. So you're moving out from the z axis a certain amount. So what I wanna do is I wanna be able to get, um, I wanna start at the z axis and be able to go as far as possible. But if you think of the graph of tangent, uh, it has a range from zero to infinity if we limit phi from zero to pi over two. So if I just go from zero to pi over two, tangent goes from zero all the way to positive infinity, which means we can start at the z axis and go all the way out to infinity. And so that'll give us the entire plane. Um, I really recommend that you play around with that in some kind of software. I use GeoGebra for these sorts of things. Um, you can change the phi values and see what's happening to the plane, uh, and that can be a really useful thing. But anyway, that's how we can convert a horizontal plane to spherical coordinates. I hope you found this helpful, and good luck.